Good morning, it's uh, Paul here. Uh, Barbie and I have been mission partners with Oxford Terrace Baptist Church for about a decade, uh, based in India and, and now back in Auckland. And I've been invited to share in this Lent series. And I was given a, a passage in John 13, um, beginning at verse 31. I think as I lived in these verses, the thing that impacted me the most is the way Jesus refers to his disciples as my children. It's very tender. And what follows is a, a very much within the, within the family kind of paragraph. Because he goes on to talk about um, the new commandment that he gives. And it's uh, not so much love your enemies as it is uh, love each other. And the newness in the command, it would seem, is not so much the object of the love, uh, each other, that's a natural thing to do, but the, the brand of the love, uh, to love as Jesus has loved us. And so all kinds of things come to mind, don't they? Uh, a love that serves, that is uh, other-centered, uh, a love that uh, sacrifices, doesn't count the cost. Um, a love that uh, carries no conditions, that we're not looking for a return on the investment. Um, and also a love that full, flows um, full and free to each and to all. It's not, a, it's not a selective love. It's a big challenge. And of course, the remarkable thing in the passage is that Jesus then says that if we love like this within inside the community, it has uh, impact beyond and outside into other communities where people become sure that we uh, are his. And that's how um, the love of Jesus uh, spreads beyond us to others. They see something uh, attractive about the way we live together.